Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. So the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up for him. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the office. Hooks to the body now. Try to establish that jab. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Visibly limping here. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, now the judo throw, and he ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pop, or he can chase the fish. And they both stand up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up though by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take line takedown attempt. You can't just shoot. You gotta set your opponent up to get that beautiful. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Blades gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. There. He landed it perfectly, perfect place, perfect position. What a huge throw in a big moment in this fight. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Blades gets caught with that punch, his chin, and his held up thus far. Gotta show up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. So a crowd-pleasing approach for him here in round one. He has landed early, he has landed often, and this is really the aggressive approach that Dana White and the matchmakers take it down. Come. up again here, but hurting. Look at him chop the middle. Chop, chop the middle. Chop the Continues. Oh! Dude's hurt. So him up. Go get him. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. What a round! So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big Brutal. This one's... You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Big all punch land. Now we get back to range. Beautiful. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Man, that's the job. That's the job. He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully, perfectly on that shot. Blades his lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Now he's got the more time. Oh! Oh, he's hurt badly. 